today I'd like us to talk about, uh, we're doing the 10 year challenge as African sport. Yeah. Oh, Everybody's been doing it, so we decided. Why that's not? interesting. Yeah, so your favorite stars, imagine what they look like uh, 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. What have we achieved over the, uh, this uh, few 10 years? So we'll be looking at something like that. This, Can't wait this morning. to find out. All right, so <laughs> let's get into it now. Uh, the 10 year challenge where one retrieves uh, a photo from 2009 and compares it to one from this year. 2019 has gone viral as literally everyone you know has taken part. Uh, now, everybody has bought the digital pressure and taken part. So in the spirit of FOMO, the fear of missing out, uh, we will be taking the 10-year challenge as African sport and asking ourselves, where were we 10 years ago? What uh, do, you, do we have today that we did not have in 2019, in 2009 rather? And I will quickly run you through uh, the 10 key milestones that can be demonstrated through the 10 year challenge. And then we can compare the photos of your favorite sports stars. Now in 2009, South Africa was preparing to host the World Cup. The first time it would be held on the African continent. 10 years later, Morocco lost the beat host the 2026 World Cup and is now considering a joint Europe-Africa bid for uh, the World Cup in 2030. In 2009, Egypt were defending champions of AFCON, having won the tournament in 2008. The Pharaohs beat Cameroon 1-0 in the final. 10 years later, Egypt will be hosting uh, the AFCON 2019 and Cameroon are defending champions. Now, uh, AFCON has also undergone several changes over the last 10 years. It is now hosted in ODS, has been expanded from 16 to 24 teams and is held in June, July rather than January, February. The Confederation of African Football, which manages football on the continent, has also had its 10 year story. In 2009, Cameroon's Issa Hayatu uh, was CAF president. The organization is today led by Madagascar's Ahmad Ahmad. Now, on a side note, football governing body FIFA has also seen a change of leadership over the past decade. In 2009, Switzerland's uh, Sepp Blatter was FIFA president, and today football is governed by Swiss Italian Gianni Infantino. The CAF African Player of the Year in 2009 was Ivory Coast and Chelsea's Didier Drogba. Drogba retired 10 years later in November last year, and the continent's finest footballer today is Egypt and Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. Now, uh, in 2009 again, Algeria, Cameroon, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, and South Africa were qualify, uh, qualified to represent Africa at the World Cup. 10 years later, it was only Nigeria that joined Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Senegal uh, at the World Cup in Russia. Over the past 10 years, there have been three World Cups, and sadly, Africa is still waiting for that trophy to come home. Some things have not changed. Some people, however, have actually uh, transformed, and uh, we'll now check out the transformation of some of your favorite sports stars over the last 10 years. So I was tempted to put myself, but then I'm not an African sports star. <laughs> oh, come on, you but are. Obviously, we are curious to find out how you looked like 10 really, years ago. Yeah? <laughs> 10 years back. You 10 know? years back, I was at the university, uh, wanted to be a pastor. Really? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> look where I ended up. <laughs> Can you imagine this past, is interesting, Pastor you know? Mubera? Oh, yes. <laughs> and have then, you guys taken part in the 10-year challenge? Oh, yes, I have. I have already. Huh? I oh, yes, I saw yes. I still haven't. Ah, you should. Coming soon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 